Hello, my name's Alicia. You may have heard people use the word indexing in connection with family history and wondered what it was. Family search indexing lets you type names and other information from images of historical records into a database that people worldwide can use to find their ancestors for free. The names you index generally will come from digitised documents that include census records, parish records such as birth certificates and marriage certificates, military registrations, cemetery records, obituaries and more. As we work together to enter these names into the Family Search database, we'll each have a greater chance of finding information about our own ancestors and be able to help take family names to the temple. So that's why we all index. Here are eight great reasons why you should make it a point to index too. Number one, because these aren't just names, they're real people, just like you and me. This census record is an example of a record that could appear in an indexing project. It's easy to think of the document as just a long list of names of people who lived a long time ago. But these names represent individual sons and daughters of God who really lived here on earth, just like you. Number two, because it feels great. Typing names into a database may not sound very exciting, but this isn't your typical data entry task. This work is filled with the spirit of Elijah, which is the Holy Ghost. It will bring greater peace, joy and purpose into your life because it's a work with eternal importance. And you'll have fun doing it as well. Number three, because you're a perfect fit. Family search indexing is based around the computer. For you in the younger generation, your skills at using the computer, typing quickly and simply knowing your way around today's technologies, give you just what it takes for indexing. And you can invite your friends too. You don't need to be a member of the church to join in. For you who are a little older, it really is easy and you'll learn very quickly how to do it. But if you're not too sure, why not get a younger person to help you and make it a fun activity together? Number four, because it fits your schedule. You may wonder, how can you fit indexing into your already busy life? But it's easy. Since you don't have to complete an entire batch in one sitting, you could work on it for just five minutes at a time, perhaps while you're waiting for dinner or before you log on to a social networking site. Five extra minutes browsing the web may not make a big difference in your day, but five minutes spent indexing can bring the spirit into your life and bless the lives of others for eternity. Number five, because it's not just for older generations. Do you think that family history work is only for your parents and that you'll be better suited for this work when you're older? Elder David A. Bednar of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in speaking to youth has said, the time is now. Young men, young women and young adults as well as older generations have found that indexing is a great project in which to become involved. Number six, because technologies have been invented for this work. Have you ever wondered how our generation constantly receives new technological advances when people in the past lived for centuries without our modern means of communication? Well, it's no coincidence. Many prophets and apostles have testified that today's technologies have been invented to help the Lord's work move forward 
and family search indexing is one of those ways. Heavenly Father has given you a special responsibility to further the kingdom as you help the indexing effort and prepare names for temple work. Number seven, because it will protect you from the influence of the adversary. Today's world is filled with temptation, so we all need to fortify ourselves to stand strong. Elder Bednar has testified that family history work is one way to bring us that strength and to protect us from the world. He said, the spirit of Elijah will influence anyone who is involved in this work. That, for a young person in the wickedness of the world in which we live today, is one of the greatest safeguards against the temptations of the adversary. The spirit of Elijah will not only bless you, it will protect you. And number eight, because prophets have invited you to do so. Many prophets, including the First Presidency, have talked about doing this work and asked us to become involved. In General Conference, Elder Bednar extended an invitation to all, but specifically to young people, to participate. Have you acted on Elder Bednar's invitation and experienced the blessings he promised? If not, then today's a great day to start. You'll be helping others to research their families, bringing them closer together and making a difference that will last throughout eternity. Persevere and you'll feel tremendous satisfaction when you do your best to help others find their ancestors through your indexing efforts. Just check the text below this video and on screen for links on how to get started.